actually sharpened chisel straight off the stone I've been using. If I can get his focus, come on. Anyway, uh, there we go. Yeah, so obviously for us to sharpen, um, and I tried to use it as like a, a screwdriver almost, and obviously ended up putting a nice little slice in my finger. And it's one of them slices where they just don't stop bleeding, so um, probably was not the best idea. So we'll go ahead and just pop it out. If we can, at least, anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'll roll a small little thing down. So I went ahead and pry it out. So obviously here it is. It's definitely not the neatest, but it's a workshop jig, so it does not particularly bother me. And obviously that will just slide in there. And we'll go ahead and route a small little fingernail gap. Obviously I've routed the finger hole now. The small little one there. Ugh. And so it should just fit in and plug. So now we'll go ahead and mount it on the drill press. So we need a hammer, and the only one I can find is a stone hammer, but it's going to do. Because obviously they are uh, coach bolts, so they have the small little hex. Now I'm just going to use this huge scraper as a straight edge quickly. Still need to go down a teeny tiny bit. And I will go get a punch. Right, so uh, now we'll go ahead and put these huge great big plate washers and wing nuts on. So we have to attach the cable, really nice and firm. Now we can go ahead and drop the insert in to it and obviously that sits nice and flush and then obviously if we had a drill bit in um, we could obviously drill into this without having a backer board which is always a pain in the butt and obviously all I have to do is cut a few more of these replace them when I need to so guys if you would like to know how to make a fence for this drill press table Please be sure to leave a comment down below and like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to check my other video out, link in the description. See you at the end.